Maybe you know it and maybe you don't, but I love to visit strange, new, interesting supermarkets abroad. And what I also love is food. Food. So I thought, why should I not combine these two things into a new video series on YouTube? And that's what I'm doing. So, a welcome by Elizabeth's Food, food Safari. Safari. And in this series, I will try out all kinds of food, both interesting items within the supermarket, but also things outside of the supermarket that I, for example, heard of. So I know one thing, this is gonna be fun. Well, at least for me. And of course, I also hope that you will like it. So let's start. Today I try three products from the Rewe supermarket here in Berlin, which are chocolate flavor Philadelphia, one kilogram of strawberries and Gustavo Gusto pizza. Gustavo Gusto. So we'll see how they taste. Okay, so now it's time to test this one out, which I'm very, very curious of. And I'm gonna put it on these Knäckebröd sesam crackers, which I already tasted and they taste more like whole wheat crackers and they also look like that, but oh, I like them anyway, but um, just want to mention that. So, the Philadelphia Milka. So, it looks like this and it smells pretty nice. This is how it looks. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Interesting. Yeah. It's kind of this fresh cheese vibes. Like young cheese, like creme fraiche. Creme fraiche. Vibes with chocolate flavor. I like it. But I have to get used to the flavor, I think. I think seven out of ten sounds a bit low, but it's a bit of a weird taste, I must say. Maybe higher. I'll come back to this, maybe. I won't. On to the next item of today, which I actually didn't bought in the supermarket, but as stand right beside it. So, time to taste. I just bought one kilogram of strawberries. <laughs> it's so large, like compared to my head. Oh my god, and there are so many. I bought it <laughs> because there is this very cute strawberry. Uh, shop um, and I walked past it a couple of times and now it was open so I kind of checked it and I saw only these big ones and the lady was asking if I want something and I couldn't say no so <laughs> one kilogram look at that so many okay I just made strawberry sandwiches and now I'm gonna taste them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I was trying to say, they taste really good. Perfect. Perfect. I would say a 7 out of 10, as they tasted really nice, very sweet. But there were also some strawberries that weren't fresh anymore. And the box of 1 kilogram wasn't super cheap or something. I think I... Uh, paid like nine euro something and they weren't outstanding. They were just strawberries and I like them So a seven out of ten Not perfect. And last but not least number three Gustavo Gusto pizza pizza time One of the first days that I was in Berlin I already saw these lying in the Rewe and they looked so delicious already. Look at this um, and later on, I read online that they indeed should be very good. So I must admit, I already bought them before. Um, also this one, the Margarita. And I already tried it and it is indeed delicious. But <laughs> I did kind of everything wrong in the description. So it says that it needs to be out of the freezer and out of the plastic for at least 20 minutes before you put them in the oven. And I didn't do that. Then it says you should heat the oven until like 250 degrees. And I didn't do that. Then it said you shouldn't use um, a baking thing, like uh, this paper, baking paper. Uh, and I did do that. It also said you need to have this trail thing, I don't know how to call it. And I also didn't have that because I just used the 
the totally flat one. So <laughs> I'm gonna redo it and hopefully this even better. So um, now I'm gonna open this package and open the plastic and let it sit for at least 20 minutes and then I'm gonna cut the bell pepper and some pineapple. Sorry, not sorry. And then um, I'm gonna put this on it and put it in the oven. It looks so nice. Yes. So I'm gonna open this up. Boom. Oh, and one thing what I also what did wrong, I put it on this stand, which I usually do at home, but it should be at this one. So you have heat from the top and from the bottom, and then it's 250, boom. So the pizza now has been laying out there for more than 20 minutes already. So now it's time to get my extra ingredients on the pizza and you might wonder like why are you putting extra things on the pizza as you mentioned it's so delicious well just because i can <laughs> and to have some more vegetables yeah so let's do that pizza is done so now we put it in the oven so this took me a bit longer than the last time uh, as it is now 10 to 12 minutes in the oven and I almost, I almost was too impatient and changed the setting of the oven but luckily I didn't uh, because look at it now I'll get it out of the oven and taste it and that is how delicious it looks well, let's try. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It's just so good. Like you're in an Italian restaurant. If you're in Germany, Berlin, whatever, get this pizza. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to tell you, but the pizza is only four sixty nine, so worth the money. Okay, then my final judgment. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. And I think as you look at the pizza, then you understand why. Because it's just delicious. Also, without the toppings, it's worth the price. So if you're in Berlin, go for it. So that was the first episode of Elizabeth's Food Safari. Food Safari. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed making it, so that's already one thing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then I'll say, see you in the next one. Oh, and if there are things that you know um, from Berlin that I really should try out, let me know down in the comments.